In this video, I will introduce you to Xamp Data Chart, the charting control in net advantage for data visualization, and how specifically you can add trend lines to a series in this chart. I've illustrated this approach in a sample project here, which I'm going to run to give you an idea of how trend lines look like and the different types of trend lines that are supported by the control. So what we see here is a window containing the XAM data chart, which is bound to some data, and also a couple of controls on top, a comma box and a slider, allowing us to set some of the properties on the trend lines we're gonna to add to the series. So in this chart, we have a line series, and now we're gonna set a trend line with some of the available trend line types here in this dropdown. So let's start by linear fit, and now I'm gonna just change the type of trend line so you can see the different trend lines that are supported. When you're looking at averages for trend line types, you can modify the trend line period to adjust this setting of the trend line. And this also applies to all the other average type trend lines. Uh, which are supported by the XAMPP data chart. So let's now take a look at the source code and how these trend lines are actually set. Looking at the XAMPP code that sits behind this, this window, let's first take a look at how the chart is declared. So we have a XAMPP data chart control with two axes, category daytime x-axis and a numeric y-axis. We have a single line series, which is bound to these two axes as follows. And we have a number of different properties set controlling the trend line behavior in this chart. So first we have the trend line brush set to red, where we're also setting the trend line Z index to minus one to have the trend line displayed behind the actual line series. We've also set the thickness of the trend line and here is where we're setting the period uh, which refers to the period value that's used in the computation of the averages. It is bound to the value of a slider control as we saw earlier appearing at the top of the window. The trend line type is bound to the value of the trend line combo and to its selected item specifically. You can see all the different types that are supported. So we can directly set it to modified average and run the project once more. So this is what our chart looks like with a modified average trend line set by default. What we can do here is we can still modify the trend line period. And this just gives you an idea of how flexible the trend lines are and how you can set the different properties to achieve the view and functionality that you're looking for. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.